Well, hey, it's Bruce Latch at Timeless Arts Refinishing in Grand Rapids, Michigan, 616-453-8309. You can find us on the World Wide Web at www.timelessartgr.com. God, I'm wondering if I did that right. You did. Okay. <laughs> Anyhow, here's uh, Sandra's... Uh, Drexel High Boy that she's been decorating. We showed you a, a video a few days ago when she had started it, where she just had padded it. And we brought it out here where she was putting on her pin dot pattern. Pin dot pattern and. And then I did some raised work. <coughs> and her raised them. work. And what do we got going on up here, Sandra? Well, now what we have is. Um, what do you got up here in the corner? Well, this is a Chinese cloud that, you know. I put the pin dot pattern on there. Mm -hmm. yep. I took a lining brush and I made the swirls. Mm -hmm. And then I side loaded my brush and mm. made the fady look to mm -hmm. the clouds. And what do we got here? And these are <coughs> my fady background mountains. After I put those, after I raised my tree, mm -hmm. I put my mountains in. And then I put my gold and highlight gold on the tree. Yeah, I can see the tree. Um, can you see any highlighting <coughs> gold? Or, like right here is a... A brighter shade of gold. Yeah, I can see that. A little bit of that. Not I have sure it's going to several show different camera. shades of gold. Mm -hmm. Then after I get that on, I I do my background mm -hmm. mountains. And, here's and then your what little... I've done is this is was my pin dot pattern for the house. Mm -hmm. So I've got that laid in in different shades of gold. There's no detail done on that quite yet. Mm -hmm. Some rocks and a little bit of groundwork. I laid in my girl. Yeah, she's beautiful. <laughs> Pretty soon we'll put her face in and shading mm -hmm. and detail work. A little flower floral motif right here. Mm -hmm. Here's my raised rocks down here. And I'm going to put some birds and maybe some um, uh, bamboo. Mm -hmm. Up and, there. Mm -hmm. What are you going to demonstrate for us right I'll now? I'll demonstrate for you right now how you do the, the groundwork or the back and the background mountains. Okay. Sorry about me moving around here, but mm -hmm. I'm just going to try to hold the camera Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my palette over here on top of this stuff. Yeah, I can't even see it. <laughs> and this is a real easy little technique. And whereabouts are you putting these clouds? Well, this, actually this is going to be groundwork. <coughs> oh, groundwork, okay. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so right now she's dipping in some cans. Yep, I'm, I've got lacquer on my brush and a little bit of lacquer thinner. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do is side load this brush. Okay. I'm going to dip um, the corner of my brush into the gold. And then mix it around a little bit. And that way you have... It's heavy on one corner. And that's how you get the, the ground work that, that looks kind of pretty. How big is that brush? I think this is about an inch. <coughs> about an inch brush? Mm hmm Do you see the way I'm loading my brush? I am. I'm watching it. You know, you can put a dab of retarder in there, too, if you, if you wanted to get, if you wanted to. I want to try to keep it on one corner. Mm, I'm sorry, I'm not there. Uh... 
So this is how you put the groundwork in? Mm-hmm. You use a big brush like this all the time? Well, for groundwork, I do. Yeah. No, that's what I meant. So that's pretty much how I did these mountains <coughs> up here. Oh, I'm just trying not to put on. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the mountains look absolutely beautiful. That's how that's done. Hmm. We need to have you demonstrate, <coughs> excuse me, some flowers. Mm hmm So, so did you have something on the other one that you that you could demonstrate? Um. Are you putting some gold on that? Mm-hmm. <coughs> so basically, what Sandra just did here was these little fading mount. Put it back. Fady groundwork. Fady groundwork right in here. Mm -hmm. A little right here under that. Mm. This is on the lower half of her high boy. <coughs> on these flowers over here, these raised flowers. Uh huh. This, these are just diff different colors of gold that I have. <coughs> Let me try to walk around here. Okay. There's some gold. <coughs> On these flowers mm -hmm. that I have raised, um, like uh, on this one, for instance, in the middle, I've got bright yellow gold mm -hmm. on these flowers, and then on the bottom petals of the flowers, I'm going to put a different shade of gold. Yeah, I can see the difference. It's kind of a pink, pink shade of gold, and it's mixed with lacquer. And you're painting over the jetso work that you did the other day. Yep. So if anybody have not, uh, if you haven't seen the videos here earlier, you just want to backtrack on our video chat on our uh, YouTube channel here and look for this uh, Drexel High Boy where Sandra had uh, did a pin dot pattern. Then she showed how to do raised work. The pin dot pattern will be the first step. The raised work would be the second. And then, of course, after you get all the you know the work, uh, you know you have to put the pattern on, and then you do your ra your raise work. Then, then you uh, start using your shades of gold. Yeah, powders. then the sh yeah the fun begins with lacquer. Yeah. Of course, after you paint this, you got you come back after that dries, and what do you do? Shade it. Well, after this, I line it, and then I shade it. Hmm. Lining and shading is the detail work that actually brings it to life. Brings it to life. Like them leaves over there. Right now you're just kind of painting in the flowers. Mm-hmm. I guess soon we'll have to buy us more gold, huh? <clears throat> well, I'm pretty well stocked up on gold. Can never be stocked up enough in a studio. <laughs> <clears throat> Actually, Sandy's, Sandy's little studio here is probably, <clears throat> I would say, no more. I don't even think it's eight feet wide. Mm -hmm. If it's eight feet, eight feet wide, it's pushing it. It's probably eight by 12. Um, I think it's, it's a pretty small space, but I make the best of yeah. it. I love what I do, mm -hmm. and I've done quite a lot of work out of here. You have. What's that, like a coppery color? It is. 
and I mix my gold sometimes. Mm. Sometimes I mix a little silver with this copper colored gold color that I'm mm -hmm. using right now. It makes it a little pinker like you saw on the girl's dress over there. Oh. And as soon as you finish it a little bit, I'm going to call it good on this because it's been I like think 10 minutes. So. Yeah, I think so. Okay, well, we're going to bring you back to light. Uh, we're going to bring you guys back to the speed on this when she gets ready to start. What's the next step? Lining and lining, shading? Lining. Lining and shading. Yep, and this will be... Uh, out of two sides of this is the bottom half. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is the bottom half. That's the top half. And over here is the top half. Mm -hmm. well, it's hard to see that with this glare going on and so on like that. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Thank you. Thank you.